Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight, TCM belongs to Rhonda Fleming. And next, we have Rhonda in a very fine film that she made for Warner Brothers in 1958. It's Home Before Dark, based on a book by Eileen Bassing, which tells the story about a young married woman in the film played by Gene Simmons, who returns to her home after a year in a mental institution. To her surprise, she finds that her husband has invited her stepmother and stepsister to move into their home. Now on the surface, that might sound like a really good thing, having some family around during a fragile time in one's life, but in this instance, it couldn't be worse. That's because nothing is as it appears to be on the surface. Evil forces are indeed at work here. It's a drama that unfolds like a mystery thriller with director Mervyn Leroy in charge and a first-rate group of actors playing roles they obviously relish. For Rhonda Fleming, it's one of the best roles of her whole career. And it came during a stretch where Rhonda had just made three westerns in a row. One a biggie and much respected, Gunfight at the OK Corral. That was in 1957, followed by two westerns in 1958 that are not as well remembered, Gun Glory and Bullwhip. So this next movie with no horses, no wagon trains or spurs anywhere in sight was a welcome change for her. She plays the stepsister, sweet on the surface, but oh, watch out. She's not to be trusted around anyone else's husband. Also in hand is Dan Hurley he as the husband. Also Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. The very same year he began his long run on the popular TV series 77 Sunset Strip. The stepmother in the movie is played by Mabel Albertson. In real life, the sister of actor Jack Albertson and one of those actresses with the ability to suggest without saying a word that the character she's playing is going to be a nightmare to deal with. Here from 1958 with Gene Simmons giving one of the most dazzling performances of her career, Home Before Dark. Mm -hmm. 